Hello everyone and welcome to another Daily Dose of Drupal. Today we are on episode number 219 and we're going to be going over the configuration read only module. As always, I am Shane Thomas. You can follow me on Twitter at smthomas3. Also make sure to check out my Patreon page where you can help support Code Karate. So what is the configuration read only module? Well, essentially it's a helpful module if you follow the traditional development, staging, production workflow uh, that is recommended. So if you don't want your users on your live site to be able to edit configuration, maybe it's content types, views, site settings, anything like that, then you can use this configuration read only module to prevent those changes on the live site. A few caveats though, if you do this, you need to make sure that you have a very defined workflow as you need to push up all your configuration changes uh, through the configuration management system. So we're going to go through a quick example. It'll be really simple. It's pretty easy to set up, uh, but just keep in mind that you're going to want to test this out to really make sure you know what you're doing before you uh, enforce that all your configuration has to go up through your, your workflow. I would recommend it though. It is better to uh, use the configuration management system to push up your changes through your development, testing, and production website. But again, just something to test out and keep in mind. But let's go ahead and get started. So here we're on the config read-only module page. And this is important because you're going to want to see what you need to do to make sure that your configuration read-only mode is turned on in your different environments. So depending on where your site is hosted, you may have one settings.php file that actually gets pushed up between your different environments but it's also possible you have a different settings.php file for each environment. So as you can see here, I have a local development site. I have my development site hosted on Pantheon and I have a test website or a staging website hosted on Pantheon. And what I'm going to show you is how to set up the configuration read only mode where on my local dev, or um, kind of more my global dev, I guess you could say, site, I can change configuration, but on my test website, and eventually if I got this uh, example site to a production state on my production website, I wouldn't want the configuration to be able to be changed. So the first thing I will show you on my local dev is that I have the configuration read-only module turned on. So you can see I have the configuration read-only module turned on. And I'm going to go ahead and just make a quick change to my site settings just to kind of illustrate this through this process. So I'm just going to change the site name to my awesome D8 site. I simply click the save button. And now you can see I was able to change those configuration settings. Let's take a look at my settings.php file so you can see what I set up for my specific environment. Again, I'm using Pantheon, and it is something I would recommend. I use all, uh, use it for all my personal websites, but uh, if you want that development, staging, live workflow. But again, it doesn't really matter what host you're using. It's, if you're following a similar workflow, this can work for you. So let's go ahead and let's take a look at my settings.php file. And you can see I added something right here at the bottom of my settings.php. In this will be specific to Pantheon, but depending on what your hosting provider is, you'll have something that's very similar and it's documented on that configuration read only module page. But essentially I want to return this right here, settings config read only equals true on any environment that I want configuration read only to be working where I don't want to be able to edit the config pages. So in this case, it's saying, if it's a Pantheon environment and the environment is live or the environment is test, then I want config read only to be true. Seems pretty simple. If you only had one settings.php file for each environment, let's say you didn't uh, include your settings.php if you're using Git, you didn't include it in that, or you uh, have manual uh, copies of the code base on each and you had a different settings.php file, it would be as simple as changing it to this right here if it's a environment you want config read only on and either leaving it out or 
changing it to false if it was an environment you didn't want configuration read only to be working on. So let me go ahead and put this back to the way it was. And I'm going to go ahead and using Drush, I'm going to go uh, use the Drush CX command. And don't worry about this Lando in front. That's just my development environment. But if you have Drush, it's just Drush CEX, which stands for Configuration Export. And you can see it's going to export the system.site. And that's just because I changed that site name. The only reason I'm exporting this configuration is so I can show you how you can push it up to your different environments. Uh, this isn't uh, really a, a video on all the configuration system has to offer. It's just uh, hopefully just a little example of how it can work. So you can see the only thing I have modified is that configuration file. So I'm just going to add this. Just put a little com commit message. And I'm going to push this up to my Pantheon development website. So if you come over to Pantheon, you can see it's syncing the code here. And this means that you can see if I were to come to this website, which is my dev site, and I go to the site settings, right now it's set up as my test D8 site, which is what it was before. Once this is done syncing, which it is, I can come to my configuration, development, configuration, synchronization page, and you can see that I have one change. Now, typically, you'd use Drush probably to import these changes, but depending on your setup, maybe you want to use the UI and simply import that change. And if I go to the site settings now, you can see it's now my awesome D8 site. Great. And you can see I can also change this if I wanted to, so I could overwrite these changes on my development site. Let's go ahead and go back to Pantheon and pull this to my test environment, or push it up to my test. And this is this third tab right here. So you can see, as this is getting pushed, I'm going to go to my site settings. It says my test D8 site. But also notice this message right here. It says this form will not be saved because the configuration active store is read only. And this is what the configuration read only module does. It doesn't allow me to save, if you see this button is not enabled, any changes to this page. So if I wanted to change the site name on this test website, it has to get pushed up through this deployment process that I, in this case I'm using Pantheon for. And so now, that the code is pushed up. We'll just double check. Looks like it was deployed. I can go to my configuration page, configuration synchronization. You can see my one change is here. I can import this. And once this imports, my site name will be changed. But again, because of this configuration read only module, I cannot change anything here. This includes if I wanted to add a view. On this site, I can't add a view. You can see it says it's not allowed to be saved. The save and edit button is not enabled. This includes me changing content types. So it says there's a problem creating the field test. Your configuration active store is currently locked. The configuration read-only module is a really good module if you want to set up that very defined workflow. And it is something I would recommend, especially if you're building a, a bigger Drupal 8 site where you want to control everything using Git and going through that very defined process. If you're building things for clients, this can be a really good module because you can prevent clients who maybe have a few permissions to do some things, but you don't want them changing that configuration that really makes the site work. Uh, because one, if you follow this workflow, but your clients can change the configuration, well then, if we use the site name example, they could change the site name, you push up some other configuration changes, and you overwrite their changes completely. And they're wondering and scratching their heads saying, why does it seem like I'm making this change and it always goes away or always disappears? Uh, so it's, it allows you to kind of control the workflow. But again, it's not for every website. It really depends on your personal setup and how you, you know, the process you want to follow. But give the module a try. Make sure to check out CodeKarate.com. See you next time.
Bye.